This is a very special episode. This is a lost episode. Well, I'm drinking coffee out of, I don't know what this is. Does anybody know what this is? It looks like a sheep. Is this a me. bowl? Did you oh, find the, like, you the actual found container? cups? Where did you find the Look cups? Kevin's the... got the smallest cup in the entire <laughs> wow. world. Did like, you press actually, the big coffee button? I did. I pushed the big one also. What? Did but it overflow? I, it, that yeah, it really did it run out of water? It oh, it did? It overflowed and it ran out of water. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Okay. That <laughs> actually makes a lot of sense. If you're I watching have water. That's a lie. This is a gin tonic. If you're watching this episode, it means that we probably fucked up something and we ran out of podcasts to post. Something no, bad happened. We well, no, it, nothing like that happened. No. It, what, 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 what number is this? This is episode uh, 100. Whoa. Yeah. But it's going to come out at a time that is not after episode 99. Yeah. <laughs> we thought we should do something special for episode 100. And so we did. We went on a vacation to New Zealand. <laughs> uh, Look at the thing behind us if you can't see what's behind us then uh if you're driving pull up your phone right now and p- keep driving <laughs> though don't, to the time you don't want to be late to where you're getting to but then right. look at your phone and look at what's behind us wow it is beautiful it actually makes me feel i'm livid i'm actually very mad about this that there's people that live like this yeah. and that we're not them which is which is it envy and jealousy one is like Envy is you want to take it. Jealousy yes. is you want it. Or is it the Je- other jeal- way? Jealousy is a relationship. Envy oh. is like a thing. So you can be envious of mm. this and you can be jealous of like uh, uh, of like someone stealing your girl or whatever. Okay. Jealous. So jealous is like more of an idea. Envy is like, I'm, I wish I had this gin and tonic yeah, instead. En- so envious of the gin and yeah, tonic. Yeah. Okay. That makes uh, sense. I'm very envious of this. This yeah. whole thing behind us. It's its actually absurd. It's so much less shitty than Jealousy. everything I've ever seen. It's so nice. I don't I don't want to go back. <laughs> imagine imagine growing up here in New Zealand and then moving anywhere else in the world. And you're like, the bar is was set so high. But that's okay, but yeah. that's like what all the island people though get fed up with their like Hawaiians. Like yeah. every person who I've met from Hawaii, which is like two, but still, it's like they <laughs> they leave because this beautiful, perfect island, it it's like confining. Like they get kind of It's stuck only in it. good because of what makes it bad. Like it's good because it's small and isolated, right. okay, which yes. is what makes it bad as well. I could get leaving if you've like been everywhere on your island. Otherwise, I don't I don't get it because there's still probably like, yeah, but like Michael hated, hated, he said he hated Hawaii. It was like there was there's nothing. There's nowhere to go. Like you're just sort of stuck. There's a whole island. Room. Yeah, but yeah, you but like it's bigger years, than 21 years, 21 years. Like, yeah. like it's the idea. It, what do you what do you do? Has he gone? Has he seen a volcano? Um, maybe. <laughs> I, I don't mean I don't. But yeah, that's like that's like a vacation thing. right? Like, what do you do? You know, you, like you grow up. Like, there's a couple of places that come to mind, like anywhere kind of in the middle of nowhere or like there's Catalina Island. Is yeah, one. I still haven't seen that. Catalina Island's a very, very weird place. Um, and people live there. There's a school. Yeah, there's a Catalina school there. Island. Like, could you imagine growing up in a place where there's like there's your ambitions? If you have any ambition other than like working at a grocery store, like the one grocery store, you literally have to leave. Like I'd if you want to go to college, leave. you have to leave. If you want to meet people, you have to leave. If you want to get a, a job that's not, you know, like minimum wage, you have to leave. But well, if all you want to do is uh, graduate elementary school, yeah, you can stay. You can stay. <laughs> you can stay and you can, I don't know, boat around on this lake. <laughs> that's or, vacation. Or walk around on these mountains. That's also vacation. I or, can guarantee or, we could Oh, wait, no, find... that's it. That's all I have. <laughs> this is, this is the, the thing that like is it's it's twist in my mind but i know for a fact it's true if we walked around we could find someone who is fed up with this place if we oh, walk yeah. around outside and we ask around it might be like would an like, old guy hey, or you maybe a young guy in a shop going to a shop or something yeah we're we absolutely would be able to find someone who is like completely done with what we're seeing behind like, us. yeah i tried burning it down last week yeah. over the fire <laughs> like my house in florida would be worth like five hundred thousand here so i wonder if i could trade somebody would it actually yeah, it's house like trade? it's like three hundred house swap. House swap. Wait, how expensive are houses here? They're pretty cheap. We were, you know, the where we were last what night. There's like the here? dark sky area. That was middle of nowhere. That was middle of nowhere, but they were nice houses. Oh they, yeah, they were Dude. like a million. We like six hundred thousand saw... to a million New Zealand. So was that... it a ton of land or something? No, it's like there's only that one little small town like up on the hillside. Oh, where we, where we slept last night. 
No, no, no. We drove through it where the observatory oh, was. Yeah. And it looked oh, a lot yeah, yeah, like yeah. this, like with just like the Not houses like on this. the I mean, the sky, mm. the, uh, we saw Orion's belt. We saw Orion's Balls. dick. We yeah. saw Orion's balls. There's the stars. There's you can see the shaping in Orion's thighs. When you look at Orion's belt in a regular sky, it's like the three stars in a row. It's the only one that I can identify because it's an easy one. When you're out here, it's just, it's a guy. You can see the full, it's just a picture of a guy yeah. in the yeah. sky. It's like high definition. You can see his face <laughs> and everything. Like, I don't think I've ever seen any like noisy detail in the sky before like like the milky way, milky like, way. oh you, yeah you yeah, can see bizarre. what almost looks like a cloud yeah that's attached to the, like the the star sphere yeah yeah, like, yeah it it it's so bizarre because you only see it in like nasa photos yeah and here is like straight up you just you can up. see this like this pale gray outward. yeah your eyes can't your eyes think it's like maybe a cloud or something that's or a, like astigmatism with the yeah <laughs> yeah like the andromeda galaxy that yeah. i think is another one you look at it and it's like just kind of like a a lighter patch of sky it's crazy that yeah. is what cavemen would see they would look up and they'd see that shit and they'd have i'm i don't know what what would you what would you think that was if you had nothing god, <laughs> god. Yeah, i mean <laughs> What else could you possibly fucking? I'd think probably it was? just start shrieking. <laughs> yeah, confused shrieking. But then, then you, then you realize that the certain patterns of where those stars are let you know things like where animals will be, and then quickly, dude, that's like, like the biggest market. brain pattern recognition yeah. shit that I've ever heard. Like, how can you? Who figured that out? Like, yeah, if I follow these stars, I can get to like Europe or it's like the America. Equivalent of whoever, like, like, um, uh. Uh, Wall Street bets. It's all of those fucking degenerates as cavemen yeah. would have been like with tracking, nothing else to do. Figuring like, out like the like, patterns and the stars <laughs> here mean buffalo here tomorrow. So I think <laughs> oh, numbers only go up. Uh, yeah. I think the North Star is like is like so obvious, right? It's super bright and it right. generally doesn't move that much. Uh, yeah, I think that's the idea. Yeah, that it's like it's like you know that's if you follow that that's north i don't so know like, how that works here though the we're in the star southern hemisphere sphere, the There's star southern, sphere yeah doesn't move the same way like like it it's i did i think you know i, I might have i feel like i've gone over this before but like you can sort of imagine the stars as like a two-dimensional or like a three-dimensional surface two-dimensional surface three-dimensional surface what would you two, call the surface a two of a sphere? Dimensional sphere. i would say it's 2d 2d yeah. surface of a sphere i think that's that's not it's 3D, but also it's kind of not. So you're like you're looking at like like pretend there's an orange or yeah. a beach ball around the Earth. You can put all the stars on that yes. and pretend that it's like a flat curved surface. Yeah, yeah. That's two dimensional. Like you don't have to think about the depth of anything. Right. And then the reason that that star field that 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 globe that's on the outside of our globe, like the stars move, is because the Earth is spinning. Like the Earth is moving. Yeah. But the yes, Earth's yes, rotation yes, yes. around the sun doesn't really affect no there, i the still star don't think there, there's no parallax because the movement yeah. is so small compared to the distance that you pretty much all you have to do is figure out how the earth is rotated in the field mm -hmm. yeah so the stars stay exactly the same but the stars that are at the top of that field like of the earth's rotation shouldn't oh, really move i see i see but then what does that look like from from down here is there a south we're star? Upside down. I don't know if there's a south star. There's, there is. There's, there's skylights. I don't know if they're, you can't call them the northern lights. We didn't see those, but there's lights in the sky. Southlight? Supposedly. Southern lights, I guess. Because it's like with the, the solar wind, it hits the magnetosphere and it gets drawn to the poles. So the one in the north is the one that everyone sort of like knows. That's like one of those explanations lights. that means nothing to me. It's it's like, um the because the, the solar wind ions yeah. charged it's particles. like it's like charged particles earth has a magnetic field and that's also why we still have an atmosphere mars's magnetic field died a long time ago and so the solar wind it literally got blown away the atmosphere mm -hmm. on mars got blown away but we still have a magnetic field around earth because we have an active probably five, the 5g tower core. yes steel steel is melted by jet fuel or whatever and we have um because of the way that charged particles interact with the magnetic field when it it hits when it gets near earth it's drawn towards the pole i think that's like right hmm. hand rule right what Something is it like glow that. god <laughs> <laughs> magnets Dude. fucking magnets just How pick another work? word it's like using a, a can i get that in a sentence like uh, spell your word is glass G uh, the sentence is glass is a word <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, I think it's like they they give off some visible energy when they fucking do some shit. I don't know. That's that's a, like good, some that's a great question for, for Neil deGrasse Tyson. Oh Coming my God. out, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Woo! How fucking cool would that be if you would, would say Neil, 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 Neil. Knee. I oh, wonder if we're oh, passing fuck. him up. He's behind the couch and he oh, died. He just he fucking died. died. Fuck oh, no. shit. He was, Remember, he was we, to, we were close to passing him on the Spotify charts. I wonder, yeah. I wonder what happened. I, don't, I feel we like we're not. I think we fell down the rankings. <laughs> we went down and Neil went up. It's a sad day for this. Dude. Ever since Neil deGrasse Tyson was on the Joe Rogan podcast, he's been on his way up. <laughs> dude, did he actually do that? I think he did. I think he was on the Joe Rogan podcast at some point. Why? Uh, I, because he'll do fucking anything, I guess. Fuck Neil deGrasse Tyson. If <laughs> Joe Rogan invited me on his podcast, I would be so confused. I would be scared. I would, I would like, do it. Yeah. I would do it. I would 100% do it. I don't know anything about his podcast. And maybe this is a mistake to say it. I would do it without knowing anything about it. I feel like I would do something that would get me in trouble. Like, I would just, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like if you were going to do that and you like knew you shouldn't really be there, like, why am I here? I would just ask him questions about Fear Factor That's the entire what, time. Well, <laughs> yeah, like, you can either troll him, but then it's like, how far do you go with that? Because I feel like you probably. Well, if he fucking invited you, then yeah. he must know. He knows what he's getting. Yeah, yeah. So hmm. what was your favorite episode of Fear Factor? The one where they blended up all the bugs and made people drink them or the one where they blended up all the animal semen and made people drink it? Did you try the semen? <laughs> What happened to your hair? Did it? Did it Is it true that your nipples are like? Can I see your like nipples? Really like long, huge. <laughs> I would do it. Can I make a mold of your nipples and then make hard candies from the mold? I mean, I guess like if we want. No, that was a question for you, Alan. Oh, <laughs> yes, but the uh, the thing is, I I have this. I don't. I I have. I grow a lot of nipple hair. Not yeah, a lot, but it's like it's like like some of the five, some of the candies will have nipple hair. I guess. Five hairs ish around my nipples, and yeah. they they because I don't really like pay that much much attention to them. They get really long. So uh, usually I only the nipples or the hair. I the the nipples. No, right. the hair. Oh, okay. <laughs> Boo. I only notice when the hair gets very long. Um, and this only happened like in college. And so the first time I, I plucked them, I, mm. the only thing I had was kneeling those pliers. So then my, my roommate came in one day, <laughs> I was living with my I friend, can't. Christy Lou, and she came in one day and I was just in front of the fucking bathroom mirror, like pulling nipple hairs out with <laughs> needle nose pliers. And I think she offered to help. And I just, I was like, no, I can't, this has I can't to, I, every man this. has to do this on his own. I have yeah. more nipple hair. She was hair like, I have on. tweezers. I was like, no, it must no, be near no, those this, pliers. This is, yeah. <laughs> I have more nipple hair on the right side. I don't know. You why. have them coming out like the areolas? No. Do you? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. I have yeah, one. It's just the ring. The ring around. Around the ring. Yeah. yeah. It's it's the hairs yeah. come out. They get very long. And it's like then one of those I, Dyson uh, bladeless fans. So oh, like right. Like if you put streamers on them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot like that. So um, if my that's... nipple, if air came out of my nipple, <laughs> the hairs would do like this. All right. So there's a couple of things I'm wondering here. One, how does m like the milk work yeah. with that? We don't do that. No. The other thing is maybe it's not related, but um, like something I, I saw on Reddit that I think about sometimes now, like piss doesn't come from your food from your stomach does that make sense because like, of your blood right yes yeah yeah you're yeah i drink a glass of water and i assume that there's a straight line somehow that gets huh. pissed out stomach intestines your membranes it's oh, because shit it's, doesn't go into your blood no your shit your shit <laughs> oh, i don't know why your shit goes line. straight through your right. piss doesn't your, your piss, piss doesn't your right, blood right, right, right. gets filtered right. through your kidneys mm -hmm. and what it, it bring what it pulls out is your piss right your piss is not from your not directly from your intestines. Mm -hmm. Your piss and your shit are completely different things. That's interesting. That's but actually then, like you have to wait for it to get absorbed. Way, yeah, I've never thought about that. Like, like piss is like way more complicated than it shit. Piss is your blood. Piss is like shit 2.0. Yeah, piss comes out of your blood. Piss comes how does from your, body... your shit into your blood and then out as piss. How does your body know to absorb the nutrients from the shit, but not the poop itself? I so the thing that I never understood was carnivorous plants. You know, like a Venus flytrap? Yeah. How the fuck does that work? Uh, I did read about this quite a bit. 
but I, plants, I'm not confident enough to give you a good answer. Plants need because it doesn't have a protein, a stomach. How does it get the protein? I think it just you no. Know, so it's I don't think it's pro- it's just the nutrients. It's, just, it's, like, it's micro, like vitamins and minerals. Vitamins it's, and minerals. So so and, Venus fly traps. Yeah, we are we have we done this? Where where are they native? What are they made of? Where, what are they made? What are they made of? Where are they native? Oh, to? Where are they native? I don't know. Bogs. No, but like where in, in the country? world? Oh, uh, I, I, I'm racist. I assume like a jungle I'll in it, Africa or some which, shit. Which state? What's in what the state? U.S.? What state in the U.S. is like the only place in the world Venus flytraps grow? Florida? Nope. No. Uh, Indiana? <laughs> no. <Nope>. You're. <laughs> I'm only, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, te- no, North Carolina. No. Yeah. Why? They're, they, they evolved in really shitty soil. Right, right, right. You need, they need like the acid conditions, like bad bog, bad, moss kinda. shitty. I don't, I don't know the exact and lots of bugs idea, but basically they evolved to get the things from bugs that they couldn't get from the soil. So but they you don't can eat. grow. Do they eat? They do eat it. They digest it and then they like absorb it through that like pouch. I think it's a one and done. Do they open back up? What? Oh, I don't know. I think they open back up actually. Once they once they catch something. I think so. Okay, maybe. I know that uh a lot of a lot of carnivorous plants are like air plants. Mm. So they live in trees and stuff like that. So they, their roots like aren't actually functional yeah. as roots. Oh. I don't know if this is true about Venus flytraps, but some of them is like the roots are only kind There's of functional. Some, they can't, I think they can't absorb nutrients, away. just just water. I think the Venus flytrap can live in good soil. So I don't think they, they do not have to eat flies <laughs> as far as I've read. But if they do need to eat flies. They just do it because it's cool. Exactly. <laughs> well, the thing is they, they pretty much die before anyways because people don't. They just like treat them badly and then they die after they got them from the grocery store right yeah it always was weird that you could just like i don't know why for some reason in illinois it was always the home depot would have like yeah. a yeah. bunch of venus fly traps and you're like part cool. of the plants. and then you plant it and it dies <laughs> or you stop watering it and it dies or you look at it and it dies i guess they weren't really meant for that everything is just so much more porous than than you think it would be yeah like you drink a cup of water and it's absorbed like pretty quickly yeah but like, like, even if you if you just spill a cup of water, like uh, like when you take your a shower, skin. like how much water are you absorbing when you take a shower? Is it like equal to to drinking water? It probably like it a can't cup, be, right? Like but a cup your of fingers water? get pruny. Dude, Is it like a like a shot of water? Fingers. Is there any like really accurate scale you could get on and like weigh yourself after like swimming in a pool or taking a shower? You'd have to like towel yourself off pretty good. What if you end up sweating weight? more in the shower and you actually lose weight? Because it's hot. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> that's a good point. Or. Hmm. Or what if it just negates that? So, like, so you're average. You're, you, I have a feeling the change might be so minimal that you'd have a hard time measuring. All right. So take a shower, like, but don't get your hair wet because that's going to hold a lot of water. Right. And then like give yourself like maybe five minutes to dry or off. Or just like soak in a tub. Soak, soak in a tub. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Soak. Soak. The boys love to soak. <laughs> yeah. The boys soak. The boys go soaking. Which which boy gains the most weight in the tub? Which boy soaks the best? <laughs> I I feel like. I get pretty pruny. I feel like I could hold a lot of fluid. If you took a, if you went, if you sat in a bathtub of ethanol, would you, would you get drunk? You would I feel get like drunk. you'd get drunk. I think okay. you would. Wait, 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 wait. So if you soak mm-hmm. in a tub, <laughs> so, okay, in you a tub, inevitably probably piss some of that water out, right? Because if you absorb it, is it just going into like the outer layer of skin? It's got to be going, it's diffusing into your bloodstream, right? Yeah. That's how you get drunk if it is ethanol. So if you get, right. if you go, if you go in the ocean, does the ocean, do you absorb water in the ocean? It's very salty. Maybe not. Osmos, I think it's blood is very thing. similar to seawater. I think when animals became like animals and not just blobs in the ocean, blood, I think was the whole idea of like, you could take the ocean with you. Like ocean hmm. is the life substrate. And then you just become a bag that has that ocean like water, salty in you, water inside. And then you roll up on the land. So I think if you look at hmm. like pH salinity, I, if, I think if you look at a lot of metrics, blood is actually very similar to just straight up seawater. Okay, that gives me, that gives me an idea. But before that idea, uh, <laughs> you're probably actually pissing out like pool water or ocean water. If you're in the pool, if you're or, the in the ocean pool or ocean long enough. Long enough. I would believe dude, I it's like everything is just like it it's it's just you're so you have so many more holes than than you're aware of. I think you probably have it you should think of it maybe the other way. 
what that you're all holes you're holes i am holes. you are holes. yes uh-huh. if you i mean if you do the whole like sort of like oh the space between atoms thing yeah you're you're nothing but i don't even think we're talking like space between atoms like i think that just like structurally yeah structurally there's pores. probably yeah because like <laughs> maybe. plants are just pores they have pores that let like carbon dioxide in that's what weird. area of town here do you think the pores are in not up here i'll tell you that <laughs> <laughs> maybe on the other side of that hill that was a that was not my These are all, I, this is this is this is, this is shit that like i would i would think about when i was a kid and there was never a good answer for any of this stuff because like no what 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 like school book what magic school bus episode is going to talk about like you know you being made of holes and being yeah porous. that would be i don't think i like where that one would go i think that would give kids nightmares okay here's my idea <laughs> <clears throat> i love what, how ideas come from you just someone gives you two dots and you're like i could draw a line between these two dots okay uh you make salt by dehydrating ocean water could yes. you make blood salt absolutely like oh, has yeah. anyone done yeah. that yeah. And, and piss salt piss salt but piss salt would probably taste like more, Pit, like piss like piss like, i feel like it's like no piss. no you could like you know you could uh recrystallize like fractional crystallization you could do it but but you wouldn't necessarily want to eat it. You could literally make like completely edible blood salt. Like what what happens to blood when it dries? Does it turn into like? Could you powderize it? I think it probably Maybe. it's um, probably kind of hyd- hyd- hygroscopic. Mm. There's a lot of proteins and stuff in yeah. there. You, it, it's gonna. I mean, it's gonna become maybe like a big scab, and then you like crush it up. There's gonna be a lot of salt. <laughs> it's gonna have a flavor, like for sure. Umami. Maybe, maybe, maybe some. I mean, kind of, I, it's like, almost like, like metallic, uh, like dude, irony. I feel like yeah, it's probably irony. Probably like a. I think you're thinking of like 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 the next step in like blood, like sausage. Yeah, you know, it's like coagulated blood, and then what if you take that and you just keep drying that out? So what it's like it's, that's like three percent salt. I think the ocean's like three percent. What's blood? Three percent. I think it's like about the probably same. Probably about then. the same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that means that you need like for one. One liter of blood, you would get three grams of salt. That's probably a reasonable amount of salt. So that's like right? a really like concentrated a blood. That's what maybe like a teaspoon of salt. I feel like there's more other stuff in blood. Wait, I've got I've got an idea. Like the, the amount of protein direction. in blood is going to be higher than, All right, than that. So okay, let's say because one of the things that we were not able to do in New Zealand was uh, kill a sheep, which uh, I was I don't know yeah. why I was looking forward to that. I really want to do that. I but. one day want to do something like that. I don't know. Maybe it's got to be some animal that people you know, feel we, less we, attached to. We could have just gotten the rabbit. <laughs> I think people get mad about a rabbit. I think Ran we could do a rabbit a chicken. last night. What if you you take a cow, you slaughter it, you slit its throat, you drain the blood into a uh, fish tank? Okay. You get some saltwater How fish. Long would the- <laughs> I think the fish would just live in there. Like they wouldn't be able to see. But I think they would be able to oh, breathe, no. and I feel like the salinity is right. If you emptied a cow's blood into a fish tank, you put saltwater fish like Nemo, like Dory, I think they would actually be able to live in there. I don't know if anything would get fucked up because of like just how thick it is and how much stuff there is. Is there too I much think- of something else in there? Maybe. <laughs> What if it's like our hemoglobin binds to oxygen stronger than fishes can? So so it they soaks can't up, actually like it pulls the oxygen out of the air, but then the fish can't get it. I feel that would be the only problem. I feel like that's the only one. Though. I feel There's like no scientists have this. tried this before. This is the kindest thing that scientists would do. Could you breathe blood? I um like if you did the. I I think it's the same problem. I think if the oxygen's bound to the hemoglobin. But wait, how do your cells get it out of the fuck? We, how many fucking times has this podcast gone to a place where we just like. We're too stupid. We're just too fucking stupid to figure this out. This is what the comments are for. Yeah. I think, hold on. I think that if you, you can't breathe blood. There's no fucking way you can breathe blood. No, 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 it doesn't work. No, no, because it, there, <laughs> it, I don't think it holds enough oxygen. <laughs> you can breathe like oxygenated weird fluids. But then a a baby is just a baby's not breathing. It's no. just getting oxygenated blood. From blood. It's it's in, it's <laughs> ingesting blood in the only way that ingesting blood works. It's like sharing blood. So if you if you if you connected your blood stream to like like if you shared blood between like 10 people mm-hmm. and it was circulating between all of them and one of them wasn't breathing, that person could probably yes. still be fine. fine. Without, yeah. 
Yes. Like they can hold their breath forever. Yes. yes. Like a yeah. baby. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Why? Like, because the CO2, like it's, it's CO2 buildup happens. Why? Uh, like cellular blood? processes. Yeah. So yeah. pull out of the take blood. Take it away. So the blood, so the CO2 buildup happens in the blood. <laughs> so if somebody else is removing the CO2 for you, it's so like if you sat on essentially like the dialysis machine equivalent of like an oxygen yeah, CO2 removal. They make those. CO2 scrubber. You don't have to breathe anymore, just so you know. They have machines that'll just breathe for you and oxygenate your blood. But that's like different than breathing though. Like an iron lung makes you breathe, but like it does. Like non-mechanical breathing, like solid state breathing. No, they have that. They actually do. Yeah, yeah. Why don't they? Why don't they use that in like like trauma patients, like car accidents? Or whatever? I think they do. I think it's just not. It's really just not good for you. Why? <laughs> what, is there, it worse there than is not something, breathing? Oh, I think it's like it degrades your blood cells or something. Oh, just like mechanically, it's a it's abusive. Yeah, yeah. I think like towards your body. But if you put another like two people how many people would you need to buff it because like if you put it <laughs> dude that fucking one poor bastard if it's two people and one of them has to do all the breathing they would actually they be would just yeah like <sighs> but it would you could okay hold on okay it's called ecmo ecmo if okay emergency situation the president of the united states has just uh! been, does that does that, that looks expensive. Yeah. It's just like membranes and like that d- d- diffuses oxygen into blood. I f- if if the president of the United States gets shot in the fucking lungs and uh the paramedic arrives and he's the same blood type and it just means that like for like a few days the the paramedic just has to breathe like he's on the top of a mountain. Would that does that <sighs> Dude, <laughs> you I connect think... the two, and he breathes for the president while he the president is in a coma. Wow. Where would they? Where would you can they do draw? ECMO for like it says? It's been continued for up to twenty five to thirty days, and it's it's pumping your blood and it's breathing for you. And it didn't have any issues, or there were issues. I think they die after the twenty five <laughs> to thirty days. I think that's the time limit that they. But the, that's that's a month. That is insane. So is the person awake or no? Probably not. Um, some people may be awaken off the ventilator. It's more likely. Do you know that you, you, you're just asking me like exactly what Google suggests to me next? <laughs> like the, the more suggestions, like what is it used for? What are the dangers? How like, long can you live on it? Can you be like, awake? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. They, yep. You can be awake and off the ventilator. What happens if your heart rate elevates? It disrupts the blood brain barrier and causes direct damage to neurons. Oh yeah. That sounds bad, but. How does Not it as disrupt- bad as just dying, I guess. What is what lengths would they go to to keep the president alive? I think a lot. I think JFK like was not like. I think they kept working on JFK for so like, just, like hours. So like they have like just like a cup and they just like. He had a heart. He still had a heartbeat for like a long time, and they hmm. tried to keep it going. That feels more like the classic like liability thing. Like, yeah, where, like nobody wants to yeah. say like, oh, oh. So, like we literally kept working until our doctors almost died. Like we went to like you had to go to you the brink. You have to, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you it's like, oh, like you didn't do enough to to try to yeah. save him. And you're like, no, I worked until like, like no, I he's passed out, missing the fucking back of his head. I would yeah. keep rearranging skull chunks <laughs> until someone it told me to okay. stop. Like, yeah, like, until, like, can like, I go like, home now? Like, Jackie Kennedy did her best, and we're we're just doing what she started. We're just <laughs> fucking putting stuff back they're like, in. Yeah, but. this is a, a huge waste of time. But yeah, nope, <laughs> not playing this game. This I, piece looks like it goes there. Do you think they start with the outer edges first? Oh, like putting it back together. Yeah. I mean, it, the, I think you just. I, what do you do? What do you do when you're like you you get that and you're like, well, this is the president. We have to try our best. He's still got a heartbeat. He's missing the back of his head. And what was supposed to be inside of his head. Yeah. We're just going to keep keep it going. Keep 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 this. I mean, we're on a roll Just look here. at what they're doing with Joe Biden right now. <laughs> hey! Sleepy Joe. <laughs> Sleepy. No, we believe in Dark Brandon. Here. Dark Brandon, that's Let's right. Let's go Dark Brandon. <laughs> this is a Dark Brandon household. I mean, it's it's like the, the, it makes me think of. Do you ever look at the um uh that the it, what was it like a Japanese guy who suffered like this massive oh, radiation. radiation dose and it's like like the he ended up living for like months, but his like skin uh, was like sloughing off the entire time. 
what I think his last name was Auchi, which in English is actually a really unfortunate yeah. onomatopoeia, I guess. Yeah. Homophone. Ouchie. <laughs> Mr. Auchi. How is the pain level today? Uh, it was How it, many ouchies would you give it out of ten? Did you have you guys seen that? It's like I think thing. I have yeah, read snippets about fuel. it and I think I did they they ask him if he wanted to die and he said no. I don't believe he said no. He his his uh I don't know if he was able to communicate like no. after after, after a after while. His, like job fell off. His his I think his family, especially his wife. They tried to keep him alive. It was not against anyone's wishes, though. I think a lot of people think that the doctor sort of did it like as an experiment, but sort of everyone involved wanted to try. And they did actually learn like a lot. I think he had point, any idea what was going on. Maybe, maybe at first. <laughs> I think maybe at first he knew that something bad was happening. Why didn't they just like comatose him, or was he sort of already comatose? He eventually point? got there because it, it like like you had it was so bad that. Like he got such a mega dose of radiation, his DNA was gone. Like, yeah. like the problem was, like, you know, the, when you get radiation poisoning, like your body is always naturally cycling through cells, right? This is like literally how they sterilize food. Yes. Is they kill it and so that it, it the programming is gone and it just exists and it coasts until it yeah. de- decomposes. His body was just falling apart because there was literally no more blueprints left. His yeah. you couldn't and so one of the things they tried, which apparently kind of worked for like a little bit, which is like insane, they tried to restart his fucking DNA with his sister's chromosome. Like uh, like they implanted, oh, wow. they tried to like 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 implant his sister's chromosomes into his body just fucking in his blood i guess to and just, just hope that, get something going yeah the idea was that like the cells would just like the, theseus it, ship of theseus yeah. he would turn into his sister. Like, like, there's nothing cells there's no cells in there to like try to kill those cells so like maybe they'll just take yeah, over like, like, like a like cancer the, yeah the idea was that like like the 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 like existing cells would somehow uptake the DNA or that like the cells from his sister would take the place of the cells that he was losing because they didn't have body plans anymore. And like for like a hot second, it it seemed to do something, which is just insane that it's like you, you just, you do not have you like you like genetically are just gone at that point. Yeah. It's gone. There's no plans left. You fucking you, lost the manual. You have built yourself to the last time you'll ever build yourself. Yes. And you're just coasting on <laughs> on whatever is left. And the next best thing they could do was just, all right, well, this is the next closest thing. Let's just put, a, put it in there and hopefully it can figure it out again. You know, when you phrase it like that, it literally means that, I mean, this is like, I guess, kind of obvious now that your body is always falling apart. Yeah. Yes. Like your body is always falling apart. It's probably yeah. why you can heal is that you're always falling apart. Yeah. It it's um it's it's not good. No, I guess it is good. I mean, that's just the best way that fucking things figured out how to do it. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> imagine like someone just cuts all your fucking skin off and then says like, just sit in this room for the next thirty days while you while we I don't know it's gonna happen. That's why we're doing this. <laughs> that would suck. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a reason like like a lot of the doctors have the do not resuscitate like on their tattooed on their fucking chest. Like they they know how bad it is. Oh, gets. do they really? Most like I think the majority of doctors, like actual doctors, yeah, do have have either like straight up like bracelets wow. or tattoos or like at least language in their wills or they're like they're sort of like instructions for if they are in that situation to dnr do not resuscitate that's nuts give me because the they've seen button. it they yeah. know it's it's like it's bad like you just you're jfk with a heartbeat <laughs> like there's no point it's just kind of a waste of resources at that point too like what's the point is there like a dnr that's like uh if i like keep me alive if i will still like if I'm still going to be lucid, if I <laughs> but if like, you're lucid, then you can tell them yourself is the issue. If right? it looks like I'm enjoying, well, the then you opiate. can't say yes. okay. Well, I actually take that back. Can you like kill me again? Like, <laughs> what if it? Could you make how complicated? Could you, could you, could you put you the make clock back in my brain? Like, could you do like a coin flip DNR? Like DNR flip a coin. It's like a Magic the Gathering card. If it's heads, <laughs> DNR. If it's tails, try to resuscitate. It's a me. card. It's black or red. Yeah, they have to try it every single day. <laughs> and it's like every twenty four hours you complete every every time they resuscitate you do the coin flip again. For the you example. have to choose black, black or red, red. Mm-hmm. up to five times in a row. <laughs> that's it up though to five. Yeah, yeah, after yeah. five. Like, it has to be a loved one a loved one has to choose the color and then the doctor or surgeon has to do the actual <laughs> card draw yeah <laughs> you're like how do I make this DNR thing miserable for everyone else too <laughs> 
So was, New Zealand's nice. Yeah. I couldn't find anything about Ouchie. I was looking at like, his name is Ouchie, by the yeah, way. Yeah, O-U-C-H-I. Yeah, Ouchie. So I was trying to see like, did he like, is there any record of him saying like he wants to be kept alive or anything like that? What, I, what did I, he say? I, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. I, probably, maybe not. Probably not. Yeah. Um, they probably but, disposed of all the times he said, please kill me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it was his next of kin, his wife. They all, they all wanted, you know, to try it. And I think the, the the doctors were like, like very clear in sort of like what was happening and what they were trying, and like the fact that it was like, hey, we have no idea what the fuck this is gonna do, but um, it's either that or he just dies, I guess. Which you know, what yeah. cells from his sister did they use? Dude, I don't even know. I mean, they might get uh, maybe even like fucking reproductive cells. I don't know what ha- what works at that point. Like d- if it was even just just straight up bare ass chromosomes and they would just fucking put it in an IV. Maybe, yeah, maybe it was I like baby like like stem cells or something, you know, like, I mean, we- how do you how do you reboot an entire human fucking body? Dude, it's like a house. Like the house you have to maintain. Like you know when you see like a house in the wilderness or something where it's just like degraded, like it's always falling yeah, apart. Yeah. Like you have to you have to continuously maintain yeah. it. And so you stop the maintenance, it degrades, and then they just like you can't replace like what do you replace? Like once it's so where do you far start? gone, like where do you start? Like yeah. what do you, I don't like I don't after like know. five years of neglect, it's like the roof is caved in, all the windows right. are broken, like what do you do? all the electrical is shot. That's like, like sticking like, a, like, a, like a like putting baby. a new coat of paint on it. Yeah, Dude, like just spritzing his sister's DNA on him. Fucking cut off my head and stick it on a baby's body. <laughs> <Did you? laughs> I have a question about the baby's body. Yeah, yes. <laughs> what do they do with the baby's head? Um, um <laughs> they put it on my body. <laughs> put it on the hood of the surgeon's car. <laughs> I I I would fucking do that. I would I would I would do all the bad sci-fi shit. I would I would I would get frozen. I would get my head sewn onto a baby's body. Mm-hmm. I, think I would. A lot of medical stuff of has got things. some of that nightmares beyond beyond comprehension energy to it, like the Russian experiments with the dog heads. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. I don't. I, you just like I. I just feel. But what like if it worked? It did work. I mean, it did work. But what if I mean, it was like, like totally fine? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. What would, what would you do if two-headed dogs? You're like, I want a German Shepherd and a pit bull, but I can't decide. So I fucking cut the head off a pit bull and stuck it <laughs> on the body of a German Shepherd. <laughs> like you could cut off somebody's head and then put it on like somebody else's body and they could still be alive. I mean, they have, I think, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so like Jackie Kennedy like could have done that. All right. Is there anyone in well, your she life? she couldn't have, but. How many people are in your life? That you would willingly get their head attached to your body if they had some like horrible body accident and their body was destroyed. Oh fuck! I I, I don't I I don't know, <laughs> but I'm just imagining like imagine like a, like two brothers and like one of them dies and the mom right. like makes the other brother wear wear his head like so so they're both on the same body because she she doesn't want to say goodbye. There's, there's that's like a, a black fucking, mirror episode. That's a, that's a fucking anime. That's happened uh, probably dozens. Did we just of times come up with like a animes. cool? Did we just write an anime or Black Mirror episode? I think uh, so. I don't know if it. I don't know how cool it would be, but yeah, I think. I mean, there was um, what there was an anime that I saw recently, and I think it was like Heaven something, Heaven, um, the Heavenly Path or some mm. shit. Someone's gonna know. Someone is raging right now. That I can't remember the rest of this title, <laughs> but it was um, the twist of it was that and this, this happens really early on so i don't think it's like a terrible spoiler but it's like um one of the protagonists you find out is it's it's a it's a it's a woman but it's it's a woman's body mm. and it turns out that the her brain is her younger brother's brain so it was like like before the series started, it was like the younger brother got into an awful accident. Like half his body got eaten by a giant monster. Right. And so the top half was still there. And then the girl at the same time, the older sister got like shot in the head. <laughs> right. So there was like a doctor that kind of saw the situation. Like, was like, well, like, there was one dot and another dot. And he was like, uh, yeah, he was like, uh, he was like, oh. well, oh. We can we can save sort of one of them or sort of both of them. <laughs> He's like, I have this crazy idea. 
And so the 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 the, the, the little brother's brain gets put in the older sister's body. Imagine you're like sitting down. You're like, okay, so here's the plan, man. We're gonna take the body <laughs> of your daughter. No, the the boy. Wait, yeah, no, we're gonna his brother, his older brain, sister, her body. He's like, wait, let me get, let me. I'm gonna draw this out. <laughs> like, <laughs> he, he pulls out some like ketchup packets yeah. and like a, a drink bottle and like he's. <laughs> Kind of like you were doing. Yeah, exactly. road okay, trip. so we put this, we put the body there, and then the brain goes in it. No, no, no. The Doctor body House. goes on the brain. Wait, Doctor House, you're genius. <laughs> I just need to take some more of these pills. <laughs> so what happens? Um, well, it, they, it's just fictional, right? So yeah, it's it's an anime. It's fictional. They they um they're really. <laughs> They're really good at fight. It's like a kind of a tomboy uh, situation because it's like a boy's brain and a girl's body. So they're really good at fighting and shit. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> that actually, do you know how crippled you would be <laughs> in the real world if they did anything remotely similar to a surgery? Like you literally would be so messed up. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's like, like watching, watching like a baby sort of learn to inhabit its body like you realize there's it's very very there's some like you get some freebies right yeah. as you say yeah. there's some there's some firmware for sure but for the most part like your brain doesn't know what the fuck your body is yeah. for years yeah like with dude potato knows how to crap like she <laughs> you don't you don't have to train the baby one. to poop. Get, it's just freebie. free just like pooping is free like it, there's walking, like there's like a direct line from yeah. the brain to like to the butt shit yeah. but like Face waving <laughs> yeah you can see like there's this slow progression to learn waving and sometimes like I'll kind of like flick her arm when someone waves. I'll be like, oh, I kind of flick and then she'll be like. Oh, wait, no, actually, I think it's the spine. I don't think the brain's involved at all. It's I, just like a, I, think it's, I think it's all like spinal stuff. Oh, because like paraplegics can still like shit and stuff, right? Ah. Uh, yeah, they can still shit. I think the brain starts to override stuff later on. So your brain can stop you from shitting. But your spine always wants to make yeah, you I, shit. I think, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So your so, brain is just like turning off the signal. It's like, it's like interrupting. Shit. No, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Not again. You can feel it. You can tell when your brain's Every fighting day. it too because you're like, don't do it. <laughs> can we talk about how your asshole knows the difference? Between a fart and a shit? I mean, sometimes <laughs> obviously it doesn't. Uh, I know it happens to the best of us, um, but generally speaking, yeah. that is fucking amazing. Yeah, to me. fucking Kyle Hill. It has something called like this, this the the anal cavity sampling neuron yeah, or something I, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a sampling nerve, <laughs> and yeah, Google. that's how it is able to roughly tell if it's a shit or a. Fart. I wonder if it can like tell like the electrical like the resistance between two <laughs> neurons or something. How does it work? <laughs> I don't know. It's 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 like a sampling. Dude, it's got to be mechanical, right? It's got to be a, a like mechanical, a pressure like thing. a squish. Oh, yeah. or Once a... your anal canal has sampled the contents of the rectum and compared maybe it's like all a taste the sensory thing. Signals, maybe, maybe it's like it a taste decides <laughs> whether there's gas or poop in the rectum. <laughs> the information makes it to your brain. Then you, can... it could be like <laughs> it could be like then an olfactory can, nerve. Then you can make <laughs> then you can make an informed decision <laughs> whether to rack. To relax your external <laughs> anal sphincter and release the beast. What? What is is this? Is it what like a medical journal? No, <laughs> zo.com. <laughs> I'm sorry. It sounds like ChatGPT wrote that. Like it's you don't like the. I think the, the you fuck you see a gazelle and. Like it's born, and then what? Five minutes later, it's it's up and it's galloping because it's like it's it's got a it's its brain and its body are stupider, and so they're just they're connected right away. It just knows how to do that. But like human brains are way more adaptable, right? And so it's like you don't you don't get that pre programming, like you don't know exactly what body you're gonna inhabit, even though most of the time it's probably like a very similar kind of like body. But then like you see like um you're seeing like videos of like like people who are born with just like like elbows. Like they don't they don't have like a forearm. Oh, yeah, yeah. But then like you they can like play video games. Still. And you see like they just are working joysticks uh -huh. and buttons. That's it's like like really well. <laughs> just as like pretty much just as good as you could do. Yeah. And that's oh, that's like the one upside of like babies not being able to do shit is that yeah. they have the capability of like like just 
yeah. raw brute force neural network machine learning like is being there, able to do that shit. yeah is everybody's brain wired the same as adults like say like you know like just say you do have your full limbs and everything like that like could you is it the same i don't think i, think, I don't think uh, i don't know well i because i know like that, if you like, took one like one nerve that comes from i think a lot of it is probably like random like I, I feel like I don't know exactly how like DNA works, but like how does, you know, how does a fingernail end up on the tip of your finger versus like everything sort of starts from one, like when it, when it, everything starts expanding, how does it end up in the right spot? Like sometimes it doesn't, yeah. but like does your fingernail know that it's next to your knuckle and does that knuckle know it's next to the other knuckle? And yeah, that's that what I always that's 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 knuckle? Knuckle? That, yeah. that like, I think only happens like in the embryo stage. There's like a whole set of genes for like body planning yeah. that activate really early on. And um, those are also sort of like part of like but, symmetry but, is really yeah, good. But, like, how do you, but how, how does come, it start from from one cell to two? And then those two turn like where does the thing like we yeah, use yeah, like how come your nail like bed doesn't just start like creeping like back throughout your whole life? Like like why doesn't it go all the way to your knuckle? I think that's established when you're like first being developed. Yeah, but like, what? Where's the like? Everything can just kind of like start moving one to right. one way or another. Right? So there, there's like a point where there's nothing Does that like resembles measure? where a fingernail would be, and something that is discernible as a fingernail. Yeah. What is that transition that keeps everything in the right spot? I think initially it's like a lot of it's a very complicated like series of chemical signals that is like dictated that are all right next to each other. So it's like I'm right here. Yeah. Statistically, the things around me are like this, which means I should be doing this. Yeah. And then I think very early on, there's like, you know, there's fuck, dude, I don't it's know. It's got to be like, extremely you, complicated. You have like a structured to your body, like a cellular structure. Like if you've seen like decellularized pig hearts. And like, like, there's a lot of like just protein scaffolding cartilage, oh, like, like that oh, kind of that stuff. Makes sense. Like, like that, like cells just sort of inhabit. I think that's built pretty early on, and then once that sort of like initial hurdle of like growing a person is done, I think it becomes a lot easier because then you have sort of like much clearer signals and um, like like boundaries. markers. Yes, for yeah. where cells are supposed. Is it to like be. it's like a game of Minesweeper? <laughs> Like you look at what's around you to determine what you should be. What you're supposed to be. And then you just pray to God that it propagates correctly. Cause like sometimes it doesn't. It's like sometimes maybe, yeah. like I don't know if it's the signals that get messed up. Like what causes yeah. like fetal alcohol syndrome? Probably alcohol. <laughs> no, but like what does it do? What does the alcohol do? Oh, probably. If, does it interfere with those? Like, like when, yeah. when are you, <laughs> when are you allowed to drink? <laughs> Right. Like there's got to be a worse stage for drinking. Like, yeah. Is it early on that it's bad? Is it early on? OK, I think early on is bad. I, I think, think I think like the earlier on it bad. is like Actually, the more Chelsea, errors are going to propagate. Chelsea, when's the worst time to drink when you're pregnant? Early on? First trimester. Dude, it has yeah. to, it's got to mess with those signals. Yeah, because it's like I think like the errors build up. Yeah. So yeah. like once you have an error like early, early on, then it's like every single cell is going to have that error or like a large, a bigger portion is going to have that error. That makes a lot of sense if we're right, which we're probably not because we're fucking stupid. One of these days, it sounds, we, sounds we right to, to me. A... So, you know, it's like, I think it's right. Actually, how else it's could like it first possibly work? Logic. It's not like there's like, a yeah, CNC machine <laughs> that says this goes here and this goes there. Right. Right. Like a pick and place. Yeah. Because yeah. it's all because it's it's the thing is growing and it's also what Imagine, the thing like, is made out how of. How does your body know how big to make your dick? That one I don't um, I don't like that I don't answer know. to that yeah, question. Whatever, because whatever I, uh, maybe said, my mom would maybe the really, signals are wrong yeah, with it me. Should have been bigger, I guess. <laughs> should yeah. <laughs> they like the, they should have kept working on the scaffolding. Yeah. <laughs> Frick. I we we really need to have a doctor or a biologist or like a we sh I, I would want yeah. an animal mm. guest. Like you know how in late night they would have the animal oh, guest like an alligator mm. needed a fucking guest slot to fill and they'd bring I, on a guy with a fucking I wanted to do bird. a raccoon once and then I, we had the raccoon in the house and I was like <laughs> this actually would be a horrible idea. We well, should not what if have we had a biologist in the house? I don't I think I feel like we need someone very specialized for these kinds of questions. No? You Talking about like embryo maybe? specifically biologist might be too big. Yeah where's like a, a biologist that's like really like low level like uh, well, someone, someone who would make a dinosaur in Jurassic Park. Yeah, what, that what is that called? What is that position called? Di Bi Bioengineering. <laughs> what do you think that job application looks like? I mean, there's there's groups that sort I of developed CRISPR back in 2007, and I helped develop the coronavirus vaccine, and <laughs> that's probably what it looks like. 
something yeah, like that. Yeah, but do you think someone who knows about DNA knows how cells propagate? Maybe, but also maybe not. I think I think a lot of biology is kind of like no, engineering. Yeah, we, hmm. Like I think a lot of it's shared and you I don't think that like uh, embryonic development is like that specialized. I think that everybody would pr- have a pretty good idea. I was thinking if like, they're like, you know, is there an analogy like a for PhD it? level? Like what if you, you have like a bounce house that's like deflated, right? Like the reason it knows how to inflate to the correct shape is because of the tension of the fabric, right? Like the fabric expands, like as it starts inflating, Either it's like, like this piece here can't go more that way because it's restricted here. And so yeah. the tension, the pressure starts building up over here. So like it like equally expands. Do you think it can like, they can measure like the, the length of cells? Like but 10 I don't, cells, I don't think it's measuring. Cells. I think it's almost like signal strengths. And so like, if the like signal strength cells, isn't strong enough. It could be like lengths of nerve cells or something. Yeah, it literally could be like yeah. something that it's not, like if there's not enough of something, yeah. not enough of a marker is being produced Produce, which then stimulates some kind of growth in little po- like areas. Like it's almost like, like, like it's fuzzy. Like it kind of like grows out in. in yeah, the- maybe your nerves can like sense different types of cells, and it should say like uh, this. This is like a, a skin cell, and it should be like a fingernail cell. So like shuffle over a little bit. I mean, mm. biology is really like it's 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 like it is just kind of bizarre in like the solutions that it has because it's stuff that works but almost because it's so close to chemistry and physics it's like stuff that only works because there are fundamentally some rules that yeah help the thing so like yeah. one of the I, i've always kind of wanted to build like a, a macroscopic version of this but it wouldn't it doesn't it doesn't really work the same but like there are there are like very simple bacteria that will find like like they have um like food seeking behavior right or or it's more like 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 beneficial chemical seeking behavior so it's not necessarily food it could just be nutrients but like if you had to build like the simplest robot you could think of to like go towards something it wanted mm-hmm. what would you do uh like a light bug thing yeah like a light following thing maybe yeah. like how how would you like what sort of the the actuation, the sensors, like how would you go about doing it? I did the line, the line following robots. The Thanksgiving one was probably the easiest robot I've ever made in my entire life. Yeah. Like it was actually like six lines of code or less if you exclude like the Arduino setup uh-huh. crap. Like it literally said, if I detect light on this sensor, steer to the left. If I detect, if I detect a dark spot on the left sensor, Uh steer to the left. If I detect a dark spot on the right sensor, steer to the right. Mm -hmm. And you just sort of assumed that if you were touch, if the right sensor was touching the line, Mm -hmm. the dark line, that you came from the right into the line, not Mm -hmm. from the left. Like you always assume the line is in the center. Yeah. And so if for whatever reason the robot went too far or Mm -hmm. like something happened and the right sensor ended up on the left side of the line, Mm -hmm. so it wasn't on the line anymore, it was done. Mm -hmm. Like it was so simple. There was no air catching. There was nothing. It was just if it came off the line, it was done. But once it was on the line, it would reliably just literally ping pong like, oh, ting, 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 ting. And so it was like two sensors, yeah. two motors. If it had to do it in three dimensions somehow, you probably need another sensor somewhere. Yeah, something like, like that. So yeah. um, it, I don't. It, so I'm guessing it's probably like a gradient thing. Like it wants to just like, if dude, it's, it's the, even simpler than that. Really? Because that was I, I talked I talked to a biologist guy in college about this once, and that was my first guess. I was like, it's a gradient thing, right? He's yeah. got like two, I guess three, because it's three dimensional sets of sensors that it can see sort of where the gradient is where the concentration gets higher and goes towards that yeah and i was like no it's like hmm. it's it's one fucking sensor it's one fucking actuator and this is three dimensions too i was like how the fuck so the this bacteria it's got like a fuck way like a tail of flagellum and the flagellum can do two things I'm just whipping out all the big words right now yeah it's got it it's got a imagine a fucking sperm right? yeah it's got a, yeah the tail can do two i things. know that word yes come <laughs> <laughs> imagine a cum <laughs> imagine a cum but it's a special kind of cum it's a bacteria cum and it has it can do one of two moves okay it can tumble where the 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 movement makes it just literally reorient randomly in space hmm. randomly. Okay. Uh, or it can go straight it can do one of those two things that has one fucking tail that does both those things and it's like in, if it moves in one direction it tumbles if it moves in the other direction it goes straight okay it has one sensor and basically, if like if the last thing it sensed was uh, less favorable 
or ba- basically like 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 the, it has like one bit of memory like he can remember one yeah, thing yeah so if like if if what it remembered before was less of what it wanted it'll go straight if yeah. what it wanted before is the same or or is the oh, so if, if the signal strength is increasing it keeps it doesn't so change like, what it's doing yeah so the tumble yeah. means that it will stay in place it'll move randomly It'll stay in place. Oh, it'll stay so in place. So it's like favorable. Like, oh, so there's, I'm some, just stay there's here. something here. There's but something then here. The moment that it gets less favorable, it will go it'll straight. Say like, it'll say like straight, and then it'll yeah. like maybe tumble a couple times. Yeah. Then, then maybe. And so, so it, it will yeah. probably sweep through things. Yeah. And you see that that action, which is one sensor, yeah. one bit of memory, one actuator, it will it will create gradient seeking behavior. Yeah. Even yeah. though it doesn't know, a, it can't actually sense a gradient. It, it will never get to where it wants to go. All it can do is pass it'll go through, towards, it. through it. So, it will go yeah. towards it though. So it's not even a position thing. It's literally like, a, yeah. a, a, it's looking for a delta. So it's less efficient than like a line follower. Yeah. Because the, 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 the random tumbling it's is always using energy, yeah. but it will move towards higher concentrations in a gradient over time. Eventually it will actually see yeah. towards higher gradients with just so those it's a two local, actions. A local maximum. Yes, it will get stuck in local maximums. Yeah. That's the that but but for a bacteria, that's really fucking good. Yeah. And that that like there there are a lot of bacteria that will display those sorts of actions for all sorts of things. Like like not necessarily food, like um like sunlight levels. There are bacteria that will also do that. Where like like if it wants a certain amount of sunlight, it's like, oh, well, it's getting darker. I better like start going more straight. And also yeah. these are all biases because it will still, even in ideal or non-ideal conditions, it will still sometimes go straight or tumble, but it's just biased more towards one or the other, depending on if it's below or above the previous threshold, the previous measurement that it has. It, it is, yeah. This scares me because when I did, when I was doing my like electrical engineering minor, I did like computer stuff, like logic, basically. Mm-hmm. And you learn about gates, you learn about flip flops, you learn oh, about yeah. <laughs> how, like, you, like what is, how do you add numbers together digitally? Like, how do you do that with a machine? It's not analog. You're literally, at, you're like, you're actually discreetly adding the numbers together. You're not estimating it with, you know, voltages. Mm-hmm. And it's so simple. Like, when you make an adder, it's just ands and ors and or nots or inverters or yeah. whatever because you say like these combinations like if i have you know you you have like you, your two numbers you're adding together if it's a one and a one that means the answer is two yeah but you can't you can't write two yeah and in binary, binary two <laughs> is essentially 10 yeah one zero. and so you have to carry yeah hmm. and so then if it's one and one you need to have something that indicates carry Mm-hmm. out so that the next block next to it which is the same as the first block knows that there's a carry yeah and if it's zero and zero your output is zero and there's no carry yeah but what if there's a carry from the previous one so then you have to have an input from the previous block yeah and you can just keep <laughs> stacking those as far as you want together it's the same stupid thing over and over and over and over so you, you make yeah. this one little module this one little logic gate thing that's like actually just a handful of like gates. Like you could yeah. build it on probably one of those little mini PCBs super easy. Like mm-hmm. they're the, oh, the yeah, breadboards yeah. really easily. Yeah. And you just keep doing that. So like an 8-bit computer can do eight of those. Yeah. A 16-bit computer <laughs> has 16 of those. And so it can do 16 numbers at the same time. Yeah. A 32-bit, 64-bit, yeah. you can see exactly where it goes. They just literally increase the the size of that. Like the length of the array. Yeah. Like and that's when big. you get like overflow errors is like when you yeah. get past, when yeah. you get to that 17th bit, and like it's not there. So what they usually will over. do is there's a flag yeah. <laughs> that indicates there's a carry on this answer, yeah. which means this is not actually the answer. And then you start doing programming where you pull that number out mm-hmm. and then you continue doing it. You, yeah. know, you have to like, you know, it, it, that's when it slows down your arithmetic because you have to do more steps. Mm-hmm. When you talk about the the fancy sperm yeah the where fancy it just it either it either uh, tumbles randomly yeah. in place or goes in a straight line biased it's, it's by a single sensor they've probably figured out almost exactly how it works like it's so simple mm-hmm. that you can describe exactly how it works but imagine now you take that and you just sort of increase complexity one step at a time yeah a hundred million sperms like with- you can see how you end up with something like orders of magnitude of orders of magnitude more complex yeah it's 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 like almost 
like I, emergent. I mean, that I feel like that Whatever. word kind of has like a lot of baggage, but it's like it's like you have just a pile of things, and each of the things has very simple rules. Each of the things has like one yeah. or two rules that follows most yep. of the time, but then those rules somehow add up to a phenomenon that is kind of more see does more Seems than more just those two rules yeah. that yeah. each thing might have and that's like a human fucking body right like you could simulate every part of a human and understand how all like the cells and stuff work and you still wouldn't be able to predict it, predict what it does <laughs> yeah. like it's chaotic yeah it's yeah. almost like a little economy like a chemical economy <laughs> the entropy economy i have to go pee you have to pee kind of kind of Oh, wow. Whoa. Well, let's do some questions when I get back. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Q&A. Go for a piss. And I I guess is that just the end of it or do we keep no, talking I think right got, now? So like free free will <laughs> is just like bullshit. Stop. Woo! <laughs> I feel like I've had breakfast burritos this size, you know? I believe you. <laughs>